Hey guys, Scott Kelby here, and I got a little cast shadow trick for you. Just a simple little fun Photoshop trick, and it's so you get a more realistic shadow than you would if you went here and chose drop shadow. So if I choose drop shadow, well, you can see what happens. You get this shadow that looks like your your uh, your billiard, your eight ball here is floating in space. And so instead, here's what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate the layer. Press Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows to duplicate the layer. We're going to fill just that layer with black. So black is our foreground color. We're going to fill this circle with black, just the circle, by pressing Option Command. Excuse me. Shift Option Delete on Mac, Shift Alt Control on Windows, and that fills it with black. Then we're going to go to Free Transform, Command T on Mac, Control T on Windows, and we're going to shrink it down. So that's going to be the size of our selection, right? Now this really looks bad, but it'll get better. Let's hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and click right on that little square thumbnail over here in the Layers panel, and let's hit Delete so there's nothing in this layer. Then we're going to grab the gradient tool. We're going to choose the second gradient, which is foreground to transparent, right, in the default set of gradients. And then we're going to click on the center gradient, not the regular linear, but the circular gradient here. And then we're going to start in the middle and we're going to drag towards the edges. Watch, click and drag, and it's going to create this kind of shadow that fades out, right? And you can go a little further if you want. Let's undo that. And we'll, we can drag a little further if you want to get closer to, there we go, like that. Now, then you just go add a little blur. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Add a little blur in this case. Uh, that's uh, 28, 29 pixels. It looks okay for this particular image at this resolution, but we're not done. First off, shadows don't usually appear in front of the object. They'll appear under it. So let's move it under, all right? Let's pull it down just a hair. There we go, right there. And if you wanted to add one little more thing that you could do is this. Duplicate the layer. Duplicate the shadow. Go to Free Transform. Hold Shift and Option so it transforms from the middle. So it doesn't just move from the left side or the right side. It'll transform from the middle and grab a center one and shrink the second shadow real small right under there. So look, you have that little extra shadow there. So it's a little harder right under the ball, and then it's a little softer here. And then I might go to that first shadow layer and just lighten it up a little bit. There we go. There's a little, there's a little cast shadow <laughs> effect. Um, pretty, pretty effective. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, that was horrible. Anyway, hey, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you dig Photoshop and you like quick tutorials like this, I got a whole bunch of them over at KelbyOne.com. I hope you'll check it out. Take the free trial. Start watching today.